peeps, Jess here and welcome to Instagram Picks My Desserts. I've seen a lot of these Instagram ad hauls before, they always seem kind of hit or miss. And I was kind of curious how Instagram would do for me because I pretty much only use Instagram for work. So I picked three desserts, we'll check them out and we'll talk about them. But first I need to talk about the ads. So Instagram believes that I am a millennial, that's true, who loves alcohol, I don't drink, loves coffee, I can't drink coffee, and really wants to go on a diet. I was sort of intimidated by how many keto cookies there were. There was enough to do a whole video just on keto cookies. And speaking of keto cookies, that was the first ad I got. Wow, that's a vanilla smell. So this cookie is from Gourmet Treats. I don't think they're actually keto, but they are paleo. Let's see. They are a vegan and protein cookie company. So this is, I think, 20 grams of protein per cookie. I got these for $5 for the three of them, which is honestly the biggest relief of this whole thing. This got pretty expensive. It, it does look soft, so that's nice. It just smells nothing but vanilla. Cheers. Honestly, this reminds me a lot of eating a Cliff Bar. There's a lot of that like protein grit going on in the background and it's very sweet but soft. So if you want like a sweet cookie as an alternative to say a Cliff Bar on the hike, I could see this working but I'm not enjoying the flavor. I'm just getting artificial vanilla and no chocolate. And I ate chocolate. Even when I just ate this chocolate chip, I'm not getting any chocolate flavor. I wanna try the double chocolate chip now and see if we can get some flavor. Okay, so if you've ever had the Cliff Z bars, they're kid brownie bars, it smells exactly like that. Cheers. So it does have chocolate flavor. It reminds me so much though of hiking bars. I look at both of these as hiking food. They're things that would make your trail a little bit nicer, especially when you've been eating Cliff Bars for three days straight. No shame to Cliff Bars. I have lived off Cliff Bars on the trail. They are amazing. Just sometimes you need some variety in your hiking diet. I could see these being really great for that, especially since they're vegan, so they're very allergy friendly. I'm not personally a fan, but they also feel like something I could be spruced up with a few cacao nibs. Like, I, I'm not against eating them on the trail with some cacao nibs. I think they work just fine. They're just not what I want to snack on when I have a lot of chocolate. Next, we have Daydream Dessert. They do superfood truffles. I've been getting ads from them actually for quite a while, so I wasn't super surprised to see them pop up. So the flavors in here are maple tahini, spiced cookie butter, and peanut butter manuka, which is a type of honey. I actually meant to get another flavor and I thought I'd order it in here and hadn't. So whoops, but these are apparently their top three most popular sellers. They also had a $30 order minimum and so I got more stuff. It was $22.99 for this six pack, but they're at least pretty big. So I feel like you're getting a lot for your money. So I think this one is the peanut butter manuka honey fudge. They didn't have a lot of information, so I'm going off of what the website looks like for the toppings. Fingers crossed. Cheers. So I got peanut butter, then a nice lightness of honey, and then a lot of coconut. I'm actually not tasting chocolate as much as I'm tasting coconut, so I'm betting that the ganache has coconut in it, likely coconut oil in order to keep it nice and smooth. And the chocolate's not really distinct in there, it's just, in there. My actual frustration with them is there's too much chocolate, actually. So there's a lot of chocolate up top versus not very much on the bottom, which means that the first thing you're getting is this chocolate rather than experiencing the chocolate and the peanut butter together. The problem I'm having is I really want a jar of this, the center as a peanut butter. I would buy that peanut butter. It, it's lovely. It's mellow, but nutty, and it's got honey, and I am here for that. I'm not as big a fan of how they're doing the chocolate because it's very coconut forward. And that's just not my jam. Last, not least, we have Behave Gummies. So this is brand new to Instagram and they launched last month and they're doing low calorie gummies in sweet and sour. And these were $30 for just this. And that's, yeah. There are six bags like this in the box. It's apparently three grams of sugar and 90 calories, which I don't care about. I just want to know they taste good. Whoa, I am just getting like fruit punch flavor. Like it kind of reminds you of Hawaiian punch. So we have the gummy. It has a little bit of citric acid on it. it smells very sweet. <laughs> Cheers. So that was the lychee. And there's this initial pop of sour. And then it's kind of a background sour while the fruit takes over. I will say it's milder and a denser chew than I expected. 
and the sour just keeps on just going and doing things. Try another one. So it's not as sour, like you get that first hit of sour from the first gummy, but that one wasn't as sour, so that was interesting. Editor Jess here. I was so distracted by how sour they were, I forgot to comment on how they taste. They remind me of naturally sweet fruit flavors, like the lychee is more like canned lychee than fresh lychee, and the raspberry more raspberry jam than fresh raspberry. Hope that helps. I will say that's probably my favorite of the set. They're not my favorite gummy texture. I like a little bit of a firmer gummy personally, but that's me nitpicking. As it is, you get a pretty nice little sour hit. You get the gummy flavor with the fruit. They're gummies. They're gummy candy. They do kind of remind me of that artificial xylitol note, but when I looked at the ingredients, I couldn't really find where that was coming from. It's, they're just gummies with a little bit of an artificial note. I'd really like to try the sweet to see how the two differentiate because the sour is such a dominant flavor here that I'm sure it's muting a little bit of the flavor of the fruit. As it is, they're, they're solid gummies. I like that they chose such nice fruit flavors. Those are flavors that go together really well. And so that was pretty awesome. I just wish they weren't $30 for six little bags. That's so much money to spend on gummies. Like in contrast, I'm really a big fan of Squish up in Canada and their bags are far cheaper. Like 30 bucks to get me a lot of gummies. And I really want to do that now. Actually, I think the problem I'm having with all three of these is that they're all trying to be healthy and I'm not against health desserts, don't get me wrong. I'm against this whole, the only way you can have desserts is if they're healthy enough, when I'd rather dessert be really, really tasty so you don't eat very much of it. So I'd like to see them just be really tasty and smaller than try to be healthy and be a bigger snack, which really just means I'm not the target market. Maybe you are. Would I buy any of these again? I could actually really see taking the gummies and the cookies on the trail. Not, well, not right now. And as for daydream dessert with the truffle, I would take that to friends of mine who are looking for options who can eat coconut, but need some allergy friendly sweets and just want to have a nicer day. And with that, thank you as always for joining in. Always great hanging out with you. Leave me know in the comments if you tried them because I'm super curious what everyone else thinks. And I will catch you next time. Later. Like, if they caught me last year when I was able to hike more, I probably would have tested these more on the trail and seen how they went. Right now in a pandemic where I haven't gone outside in six months, there's no real way to give them a proper test.